Hello Strategy Battle Gamers and welcome to another GBHL YouTube video. I'm GBHL Steve and this is my hobby vlog. Um, just thought I'd show you a couple of things that I'm working on at the minute. Um, I'm always working on something so I'll always have these hobby vlogs to uh, film if needed. A lot of the stuff you may have already seen on the Facebook uh, page. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a, a quick video to show you guys what I'm working on. We'll start off with the the Hobbit Hole Faces. Um, I'm going to do a handful of these uh, and cast them up in plaster or resin or something. And um, they're just going to make life easier for me in the future um, when I'm uh, making some Hobbit Holes because I've had quite a few inquiries um, since uh, the tournament as to uh, possibly supplying some of the TOs and just generally some gamers um, with some Hobbit Hole scenery as well as other stuff. Um, so yeah, so I just thought this was going to be a quicker way for me um, to, to get them rather than have to build them from scratch every time. It just makes more sense, I don't know why I didn't do it in the first place. Uh, so yeah, so that's the start of the first one. Um, very basic at the minute, I'm going to put some texture on the um, the walls, etc. Um, I've got another different shaped window to finish here, just got to finish the brickwork. Uh, maybe put a couple of um, sort of planters at the bottom, something like that maybe. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I kind of just, just wing it and see where it takes me. Just check the internet for pictures and pictures from the movie and things like that and kind of just sort of, yeah, just go with the flow really. So that's the first one. That's what I've been working on. I'm on that on and off. I'm in no rush to finish that, so I kind of pick that up in between projects and do a bit more. Uh, I'm also going to try my hand at sculpting a miniature. Um, this is... Excuse me. Oh, I'll try and get it on the. There we go. Uh, this is the armature that I've done so far. Um, I'm not going to say what it's going to be. Um, I'll sort of do the reveal as it's going. I'm in no rush to finish it. Uh, I'm by no means a sculptor who can just throw out a miniature um, very quick. Very, very new to this. So I want to take my time and get it right and learn some techniques and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's the armature. Um, I've built a couple of these up. But this is the first one I'm going to actually work on. Um, and it is a Tolkien character. I won't say which or from which era or from which movies. Um, so yeah, so just keep an eye on the hobby vlogs for that. Because I'm going to be working on that on and off as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. If the, I don't think the pose will give, give anything away. Um, all I'll say is it's it's a miniature that we always we already have miniatures for. It's just in a different pose. Um, so yeah, so that's that. That's going to be interesting. Um, and then we have. Sorry, get it in focus. Alfred and a dress. Still some work to do on the clothing. I've got the arms to do, etc. Some coins coming out of the cleavage. Um, very hard to get things up close to the camera, uh, but yeah, that's um, this is the second one that I've worked on. This is a uh, commission, so I'll be hopefully finishing that this week. Um, it's not as easy as you'd think it would be to actually. <laughs> actually it's quite difficult, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. Still, still a lot of textures to do and uh, final details, like I said. Um, and then one which seems to be getting a lot of attention and I've had a lot of messages um, about is the Thorin. Um, from, there's a lot of stills from Unexpected Journey um, and I think it's it's the, the scene where they're getting chased by the Wargs um, and he has an axe and Orchrist. And I, I quite like it, I think it looks quite cool. Um, I've actually... <laughs> I've actually got another three of these to do now, um, but yeah, uh, I'm happy with how that come out. This one's going to be for me. I'm going to get this one painted up and get it on the on the um, the website. Um, and yeah, I hope you like that one. That's cool. So there's that. Um, there is also um, this is going to be difficult to show you, but there is Bomber in a barrel. Yeah, there we go. So he comes out of the barrel, his arms are separate, they're probably gonna be stuck on after the paint job. Um 
again, I've had a few inquiries uh, about that, but yeah, it was something that I just sort of um, someone mentioned it to me, and I said, yeah, I can, I can have a go, and um, I've done it. Really like these barrels. Um, the metal that you can see is armature wire, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some putty on that and texture it so it looks like rope. Um, so that needs doing. I'll do that today probably, um, and get that finished. Um, we have, um, you, you've definitely seen this before because I started this way, way back. Um, this is Bane, Bard's son. He's just gonna, he's just a character to be used in my um, Lake Town Survivors Army as one of the captains because uh, I'm gonna have two captains and I, I basically just don't want two captains looking the same. Bane is totally not my idea. It was Mr. J. Clare himself who uh, came up with this a long time ago. It was in his original late time army, I think. And I just really liked how it looked. Um, so, yeah, so I just put my spin on it, uh, really. And, uh, yeah, that's it. What have I got planned for this week? Well, I need to finish Alfred. I need to finish Bomber. Um, I've got a couple of scenery pieces that I'm working on at the minute which are non-Hobbit. Non uh, related, um, which I need to drop on, and um, yeah, I've, at the minute I've had a, a lot of messages inquiring about um, commissions and doing pieces of terrain and stuff for uh, other members, which is awesome. Thank you very much for the support, um, and I will do what I can um, and do it to the best of my ability. So, if I've not got back to you by now, which I I think there's one or two I haven't replied to yet because I'm just looking into um, materials, costings and things. Um, I will be doing this afternoon or at the very latest at some point over the weekend. So just bear with me. Um, but yeah, that's my hobby vlog. Hobby vlog. I've got, um, I need to choose an arm because I'm hoping to go to um, the Longbottom Carnival. Now I have a couple of arms already painted which I can take, uh, which isn't a problem. But I would really, really like to bring a fresh army, an army that I've not used before um, to Longbottom um, and I also have to get permission off the wife to go so I'll be working on that in the next couple of days and hopefully if I get the thumbs up and I pick an army that's not too time sort of uh, intensive I will have a lot of hobby vlogs for painting the army up um, for Longbottom and I'm going to keep everything crossed that I can see um, most of you guys there um, so yeah, so that's it. That's my my first hobby vlog for the GBHL channel. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'll try and get different camera angles and maybe try different things in future hobby vlogs. Um, but that's it really. That, that's that, that, that's my Hobbit related hobbiness um, that I'm working on this week. So let's see if I can get this right first time. Comment, like, share and subscribe. Support your Hobbit hosts in the links below. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook and happy strategy battle gaming. Smashed it. See you next time guys.